Hey there, 170. This session, session seven, and actually for the next couple of sessions, we are going to uh, essentially have a block of um, projects here. What the text does with certain chapters, like you noticed in the previous session um, with chapter six, is it has these um, chapters that do nothing more or nothing more substantial anyway than just tie the previous couple of chapters together. So chapter three was an I told you so chapter where we put together chapters one and two and we just stitched them together to make larger code blocks. In chapter six, what you did was you took one and two and three and four and five and you stitched them together and we made larger code blocks with it. So what we're doing here in session seven is we're going to step back from some of those more artificial, um, you know, the the energy bill and things of that nature here in the text, and we're going to give you some more feasibly real world examples. So this session, there are two real world examples. There is a food truck challenge and there is a grade book challenge. Um, what I would suggest to you is to do them in that order. And the reason I suggest you do them in that order is that you can borrow portions of the, the logical structure from the food truck challenge and build the grade book challenge. So they, they are structured in a logical order for you. Um, so do contemplate that. Uh, there are, in both of those assignment descriptions, there are videos describing uh, what to do with them, so don't skip on those. These are projects, and as such, they um, represent, essentially, quizzes and tests. So on projects, what I tend to try and do is, if you have a question, I can provide for you directive feedback, but not corrective feedback. So what that's going to mean is, you know, you can ask questions like, am I, am I on the right track here? Or is this what you mean by something? And those kinds of questions I can answer freely. But the questions like, why isn't this working? Or things of that nature, I really can't, you know, give you like I would often do if you ask me a question corrective feedback. So the mistake you're seeing here is on line 33 where you have something. We can't do that with these. So take a look at them here earlier in the session. Do note that there are two projects and those two projects are worth 30 points a piece. So we've got you here in session seven before many of your other midterm exams start before any of your finals for your eight-week course um, courses rather will come to an end so th my hope is I can force you uh, to do these essentially midterm assignments here a week early so that when other midterms come along you won't have the same colossal load of assignments there. So there's there's a rationale to why it is that you're seeing these projects here. And it also just happens to be that they do the same thing that chapter six does, is suggest to you that you will stitch together chapters one and two and three and four and five and six and build a larger code base project there. So have at it, 170. You've got plenty in order to keep you busy this week.